The family that prays together stays together. My name is Nicholas Guiney, and I am a seminarian for the Congregation of Holy Cross. Thank you for joining us today for the novena for our prayer for priests worldwide. And this is day three. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Today's patron for our novena is St. Paul, uh, the feast day of the conversion of St. Paul. Chapter 13 of St. Paul's letter to the, the, his first letter to the people of Corinth has been described as the most beautiful 300 words ever written. You might want to check them out for yourself. You can read all of it in just about two minutes. He tells them all the wonderful qualities that I might have, but that if I don't have love, not, none of that is worth talking about. The capacity to speak every language, whether I'm in heaven or I'm on earth, the ability to understand every mystery, faith to move mountains themselves, preparedness to strip myself of everything in favor of the poor, and even to go as far as to offer my body to be burnt alive. To say that these are impressive qualities would be a gross understatement. Paul, however, insists that without love, these qualities are worthless. The qualities that he goes on to describe as characteristics of love seem so in insignificant compared to the extraordinary qualities we have just heard. But the sacred heart of Jesus has each of, of these. Love is always patient and kind. Love is never jealous. Love is not boastful or conceited. It is never rude and it never seeks out its own advantage. It does not take offense or store up grievances. Love does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but finds its joy in truth. It is ready to make allowances, to trust and to hope and to endure whatever comes. That's 1 Corinthians verses four through seven. Reading these lines helps St. Therese of Lisieux to discover her vocation to love at the heart of the church and to become co-patron along with St. Francis Xavier as, mission, as patron of missions of the whole church. The Novena Prayer. Lord Jesus, you once said, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. I come before you today with faith in your words, hope in your promises, and love for your sacred heart. Grant the favor I ask in this novena for the parents of our priests. But if what I ask is not for your glory or the good of my soul, obtain for me what is most conductive to both. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.